All right, we're going to be demonstrating a, uh, a dentist in our office uh, sending uh, a request for a uh, H&P, a history and physical, on a patient that they want to uh, send to a dental surgical center to have some work done. Usually it's done on children in our facility. Uh, the dentist recommends a referral to the medical clinic and the medical provider has to fill in the, the required forms from the pediatric surgical center. So during the visit or soon thereafter, the physician can fill in a PDF form. Uh, this form is provided by PDI. We don't change it at all. We just create a PDF of it with all the fields that are required. The physician uh, fills it in. I'm just going to put the time in there so we can see how, how long the process takes. Uh, the physician fills in the entire form just as if they would do for filling it in by hand and finding the paper form. As soon as they get to the end, they can sign it from, uh, we have a pre-populated list of providers, or you can free fill in another provider's name. The provider then electronically signs the form. When, it, when the provider signs the form, the form goes from being read-write to read-only, so that the form cannot be changed once it's signed. You'll notice the blue parts go to white, and I cannot change it. Now I'm going to submit the form to the server. The form has been submitted. Now, what is going to happen is the secret magic. The form fields that were filled in on that PDF will be taken out of the PDF form, they will be stored in a database along with the original PDF. An email, an encrypted email will be sent to our medical records staff so that they can print off that form and then scan it into the medical record. Another direct email will be sent to the pediatric surgery center for the H&P. It'll be transmitted over direct through the health, health information exchange. So this is the uh, this is the HISP. This is a secure messaging solution. If I go to my inbox, you'll see it's been two minutes since I hit that button, and already this is a PDI Dental. They have a message in their inbox with the PDF attachment of my original form that I did the testing at 316. It took two minutes for me to get, generate that referral and send it to the destination facility. Now there's some other things that happen. I said that an encrypted email is sent to my medical record staff. Here's the encrypted email. I have to then decrypt it. I have to authenticate myself against the server. The server will then come back with a PDF. There's the, the PDF that I just filled in at 316. That's my medical record staff. They can scan that, print it, put it into the record. That's my copy. That's a PDF. There is a database that is generated right at my site of all the forms that I submit. As a simple example for this demo, I've created an Excel spreadsheet as my database. You will see here that it contains all of the fields, all of the fields in the PDF with all the data structured as well as a link to the actual PDF. I'm going to the bottom. This is the, the one I just submitted. And you'll see that's the, that's the PDF that lives in the database. So the cool thing about it is with a, one form, physician fills out the form and hits a button. It did three things.
It sent in a secure email to our medical records department. It slurped out the entire contents of the form and stored it in a database. And it also sent a message through direct, through the HIE, to the facility that we were referring to. The PDF is the same. When I signed it as the physician, as soon as I signed it, that PDF was read only, so it can't be changed. The, the server on the back end takes all the data out, takes the fields and the values for each field, and st stores it in a database.